What's up, gamers? And when you think of Terraria texture packs, you may imagine the stuff similar to what was in my last video. But today, I'm here to show you something that's quite the opposite. This is Tooth and Nail, a texture pack designed by Jackie Chan, and it's f***ing brilliant. Now, this pack doesn't add a lot right now, but the creator has high ambitions for what they are yet to introduce, and I can't wait. But for now, we'll still enjoy some of the most immaculate pixel art I've ever seen. So, let's get into it. Starting things off, we have the main attraction, which is of course, the Moon Lord. And before I kill him, I'd just like to take a moment to examine the immense detail Jujaki has put in. Now the first blaring thing you may notice is of course the change in style, to this unique deep space look that I really enjoy. Moving on. Now here we are over at the dungeon, and this is the Lunatic Cultist. Now I really enjoy what they've done here, and it's impressive the amount of detail they've managed to cram into such a small sprite. With for instance his glowing eyes which illuminate parts of his robe. Another thing I really enjoy about this boss is all the changes to his projectiles and, before I kill him, I'm just going to summon in his dragon and while it's see through like this, the changes are more subtle but they are there. Now after the lunatic cultist of course comes the pillars and they've certainly received their fair share of magnificent alterations. Firstly we have the solar pillar and to say this looks great is an understatement. With the whole pillar being turned into stone with lava spewing out the sides, topped with an ominous glowing orange and green portal. Next up is the nebula pillar which just like the solar manages to create a real sense of depth that you don't see in a lot of vanilla terraria textures. Another thing I'd like to note which is something you'll notice a lot more as we move on to the vortex pillar which takes on a rather biological composition similar to the enemies that protect it while at the same time still managing to mesh together with the other pillars. Not one looking out of place when compared to another which is something I hope is continued with the pack's further creation. And last but certainly not least is the stardust pillar which again in incorporates a much different look resembling a mishmash of Business. Now I understand that this video was a bit of a shorter one but if you did enjoy make sure to smash like and of course a link to the pack is in the description. Also a huge thanks goes out to my Patreons and I'll see you in the next